So in this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how do we create a 3D roughing cycle to remove material with a roughing pass prior to coming in and doing the finish. We're also going to take a look at how we can insert operations into the operation list at the position that we want them rather than having creating them at the end of the list and then dragging and dropping them to the correct position. So let's go ahead and get started with this 3D roughing tutorial. Okay, so looking at this, let's say we did want to rough this out first and we didn't want to go back and forth. Maybe it's a harder material, you know, and we don't want to do that to the tool. So we want to create a roughing operation on this feature. So how do we do that? Well, we use a freeform feature as well, uh, like we did before we can utilize the freeform feature that we already created actually so uh, looking at this this is fine we don't need anything else at this point because we just want to rough inside of this green area one thing I do want to do though is define that I want my roughing to be limited to only the green area uh, because when we're doing roughing it considers everything in the freeform feature whether it's a check or a finish because when you're roughing you're cutting stock you're not cutting to the surfaces themselves so the roughing is actually going to look at stock and only reference the freeform faces solid faces and surfaces that are in there to make sure that it doesn't cut into those but it's going to be only looking at really the stock to keep it as a simple explanation so what i want to do is uh, just pick this edge here and I'm gonna go to features and pick auto chain and now that I have this chain here I could use that as a bounding element a 3d you know bounding element that when the tool is coming down it's going to use this projected element to keep me inside of that kind of that cylindrical or circular uh, space so what we're gonna do now is just highlight this feature and we're going to go to the operations here first and uh, one thing that I wanted to show by doing these in the reverse order was the ability to insert a operation in your operations list so yeah we can create something and then drag the operation up and down in the list but what we can do is say hey before this parallel planes operation I want to create what we call an insert location so this is new for a spree in this the older version, the older interface does not have this. Uh, you always had to create things at the end and then drag it up. But here, you can create an operation in the operation list where you want it as it's created. So here, uh, when I'm because I'm doing a roughing, it's not going to consider the parallel planes operation as my stock. Therefore, I don't have to like suppress my parallel planes first and then recalculate my roughing. So there are some benefits to this. It saves you some clicking, going into batch mode, things like this. If you're familiar with, um, you know, the, the original Esprit interface. So now that we have our insert location defined, we have our highlighted um, uh, freeform feature. Now I can go to freeform and come to uh, Z-level machining, Z-level roughing. And, and of course, yes, we do have our boundary uh, set up on the part itself. So I'm gonna say uh, rough 3D OD shape for the tool. I am going to pick that quarter inch ball for the roughing. I am going to just pick some numbers here and when we go into toolpath you'll see from the prior uh, operation that all this all looks very similar you know obviously there's some roughing stuff in here because we're roughing and not finishing so it's a different type of operation but all of the toolpath operations start with the toolpath name you've got your tool speeds and feeds you go to the toolpath tab we've got some tolerances here for this stuff so stock allowance on the walls and floor we're gonna say uh, you know what let's do ten thousandths in both directions 
And again, I'm not going to go, uh, you know, through all of these settings. So we have a quarter inch tool. 10% um, of that is 25,000. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to leave this at 50,000. Step over. We're going to leave that at 10% of the tool. Uh, we're just going to do, you know, we, you can choose the profit milling. Uh, I'll, I'll just do climb inside out. So, uh, you know, some of these other things, we're not going to look at that. Here's the boundary. I'm going to click in the box. I'm going to select that chain. We want the tool to stay inside the boundary, but we do want the contact of the tool to be on the profile. So in other words, we want, it, we want the tool to come up and come tangent to this profile up above this outside blend. So on the limits, you know, uh, we can leave all this alone. Uh, collision detection, if we want to have it, have it calculate five axis, we're not going to be doing any of that on this. The machine can't do it anyway. So we're just going to go ahead and say OK. And we're going to get an operation applied to the, um, to the, uh, to the freeform feature. So you can see the step down. Um, and looking at the operation list, this is before the parallel planes now. So let's go ahead and see the result of this. And we'll go to the machine list or the machine view and the program list. And here, uh, what we can do is start with the roughing. And I keep going to my quick. So uh, really quick, um, you see these icons at the top here. Uh, if you look at an icon, you can I, I have play already up here, so I hit play and now I have the pause, so I have to do this. When you right click on an icon, it will show add to quick access toolbar. So if there's something that you use very often and you don't want to actually go to the tab that that's on, you just want to put it up here. So my stop key is right there. So I can start and stop the simulation without being in the simulation so you know I could be in ma manipulation here and I'm starting and stopping the simulation without having to go into the simulation tab here so it saves me some movement of the mouse real estate movement some some clicks so definitely explore you know right clicking on some of the commands that you use quite a bit and using that uh, as a, a quick access command. So it's very helpful. Uh, we're going to go to the program view. We can kind of see what's going on there. So you notice that um, when I start the simulation at the beginning of this finishing cut that the uh, stock is being correctly uh, displayed with the 10,000 stock in both directions. And we can see that toolpath uh, being simulated there in this pocket with the ball mill and everything looks good. So this is how you can create a 3D roughing operation inside of Esprit and using a boundary element to keep the tool inside of a certain area of that uh, 3D mold. So we will go ahead and move on from here.